Hi everyone. Today we are going to read a book called When Worry Takes Hold. Written by Liz Hask, illustrated by In Sung Nam. One night, just after the lights went out, worry snuck into Maya's mind. Worry grew bigger and bigger until there was no space left for anything else. Just darkness and fear. Is it a school day? Maya mumbled. You're going to walk me to my class, right? Maya felt nervous because worry clouded everything that was happy and safe. Wherever Maya went, worry came alone. To the playground. Will you stay with me? What if I fall and get hurt? At a friend's birthday party. What if I don't know anyone? When will you pick me up? In the car. What if we get lost? Are you sure you know where you're going? It seemed as if worry was there to stay. The more Maya feared, the more mighty worry became. Soon bedtime turned into dread time. Maya clutched onto her parents' arms and begged them to stay. Being left alone with her thoughts meant being left alone with worry. Before long, Maya wasn't the only one filled with worry. Her parents' smiles faded as they began worrying about her worry. Why is she so worried? They wondered. <sighs> what can we do? They whispered. And then one day, Maya met worry's enemy. Courage. Courage came in the form of a calming breath. Maya realized that if she put her hands on her belly and focused on her breath, she could be brave. So instead of clinging to her fears, she called on courage. Taking deep, calming breath helped her mind settle. Maya noticed that for the first time in a long time, she wasn't thinking, what if? Breathing gave Maya power. And so rather than trying to push worry away, she greeted it. Hello, worry. She whispered when the darkness tried to fill her mind. Thanks to courage, Maya began to break free from worry's hold. At the playground, 
I am safe. I'll be okay. At her friend's birthday party. My friends are here. See you later. In the car. I know you will get us there safely. At bedtime, Maya didn't feel dread when the lights went out. Courage wrapped its arms around her as she said, I think I'll like to walk to class by myself tomorrow. Her parents started to notice a change. Is she worrying less? They wondered. What a relief, they whispered. The more courage Maya had, the less powerful worry felt. I am brave. I can do this, she said as she began to walk on her own. With each brave step, each deep breath, Maya finally broke free. And so it was that everywhere Maya went, courage came along. Soon Maya and everyone around her were full of laughter and smiles. Although worry lost its hold, it didn't disappear completely. Every now and then, worry returned. But Maya didn't mind because she knew that sometimes worry was there to keep her safe. And besides, courage was just a deep breath away. What kind of worries did Maya have? She was worried about the darkness at nighttime, worried about going to school, worried about getting hurt in the playground. And how did she overcome her worries? She learned how to take a deep breath and found her courage. Do you get worried or angry and sometimes don't really know what to do with those feelings? And it's okay to have those feelings. But you know what? It's important to find ways to calm those thoughts. For Maya, taking deep breath really helped her. What about you? What helps you calm your feelings? Would you like to learn how to breathe like Maya? Why don't we try it together? First, put your hands on your belly and hold your back straight. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Imagine you are trying to feel your entire body all the way to your toes. Then slowly let the air, air out through your nose. Notice the way your breath feels as it leaves your body. With each breath, imagine courage coming in and worry 
going out? Did you try it? How did it feel when you were taking deep breath? Maybe you can try this technique with someone you love and share your thoughts with them about how taking deep breath makes you feel. There are many different techniques you can try to calm your feelings. You can always ask your school counselors or teachers to learn more about it. 